Recently, quite a lot of players and pro players like Venno have posted on Twitter complaining about FPS stutters, so I thought I'd make a quick video showcasing some different methods on how you can fix FPS stutters, FPS drops and more. Alright, so firstly, on your desktop, you want to go to the bottom left and click on the start menu, then type in CMD, and this will show the command prompt. Now before clicking on it, you want to select this option right here, run as administrator, and this will obviously run it as administrator. And when it has actually loaded up fully, you want to type in the following command that we are going to run, that's sfc space backslash scan now, and you want to hit enter. And what this will do is it'll basically run a system scan that checks the integrity of your Windows system files. And if there is any sort of files that are corrupt, missing or are in need of some sort of repair this scan will like spot them and repair them straight away it's like all automatic and it's great and after the scan has completed it'll either say that your system is all good to go as mine is right here nothing needs repaired or it'll show you the repairs that it made and you'll be all good to go after that next you want to go into your windows settings and you want to click on system you then on the left hand side want to select storage and what I recommend doing is actually enabling this setting called storage sense as this is a great way to automatically keep your PC clutter free. As you can see at the bottom here if you scroll down you can see where your storage is being used and how you can free up space and what I like to do is like every week I like to go into here and select a few of these like temporary files and just give them all a click you can see you've got access to the recycling bin all this stuff for downloads all this actually I want to keep my downloads personally um obviously make sure you click the right ones for you and um, the internet files want to keep but my temporary files thumbnails i kind of want to keep them too and um, recycling bin can go windows update cleanup all these can go ahead and be removed and i can go ahead and save myself five gigabytes on my hard drive just like that next inside your device manager you want to go to the bottom where it says system devices and if you actually scroll down you will see an option called high precision event timer now by default this is enabled but what we're going to do is right click on it and click disable device and the reason for why we're disabling this is because many players report that when this setting is enabled which it is by default as you've seen just before this can actually cause micro stutters so by disabling it hopefully we will be eliminating those micro stutters however if you find yourself getting more micro stutters you can go ahead and re-enable it but disabling it should be best for most people Next inside the settings again you want to go into gaming and the first thing you want to do is disable the Xbox game bar as you can see mine's already done I've had this done for a while now and this can actually give you micro stutters, FPS drops and even crashes. It's an overlay that just needs to disable to make sure this is off and this setting is off as well. But moving on from that you may see this game mode option. Now by default I think it is enabled but some players report that this can give you micro stutters so if it actually does and you feel micro stutters try turning that setting off and it might actually help you out. In addition to that as well you can go into your graphic settings and disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Obviously you'll need to restart your PC to apply this change but this also can give people stutters and FPS drops so give it a go if it doesn't re-enable it but if it does go ahead and disable it like so. Next inside your Windows settings once again again you want to go into system and on the left hand side where it says power and sleep click on that option then on the right hand side where it says additional power settings in here you can see that I've got mine set to high performance now even though this might sound great for a lot of people and maybe you yourself are using it it actually can reduce your system's performance in a way because if you think about it if you put your power plan on high performance what this does is it locks your CPU to the fastest clock speed and it doesn't really let it like slow down or go into an idle state so if you've got like a 5 gigahertz CPU yours will be sitting on the highest clock speed like no matter what you're doing which if you're gaming it's great but if not it's pretty bad so I myself like to go on balance these days and I've noticed that my FPS stud is a way less pretty much non-existent next you want to locate the game that you want to eliminate the micro stutters for so mine is obviously fortnite and it's in my ssd and if you go into the game in itself then binaries then win 64 you will find if you scroll down the exe for the game where you actually launch the game and what you want to do is once you found your game you want to right click on it 
click on the properties option down here then inside where it says compatibility give that a click and you want to go ahead and disable the full screen optimizations and give it a tick like so and this can potentially fix any micro stuttering you may have but don't forget to click apply then press ok next you want to open up the launcher of the game you play you then want to go into the library section and when you have actually located the game in itself click on the three horizontal dots and then where it says manage there should be an option that says verify files or verify system files if you give that a click what this will do is it'll automatically verify all of the system files for that game which basically fixes any sort of corrupt missing or outdated files this is really good to do with every now and then I recommend doing it like every two weeks or so if you can just to make sure you were all up to date and any files that do need repaired will get repaired uh, via this system right here as you can see the repairs themselves don't take long at all and once it is verified and all good to go you can launch the game when the game itself is open you can go ahead and press Control alt delete then click on task manager and inside the task manager under processes if you find the game in itself of your choosing right click on it then click go to details it'll take you to the exe and then if you go ahead and right click on it and set the priority from the default normal to high this will put the game into high priority which will reduce any fps drops stutters or crashes next i recommend updating your gpu drivers now for nvidia myself that's what i'm on that's a gpu that i use i use geforce experience it's super easy all you have to do is launch the app and at the top you will see that there's a brand new game ready driver you can just go ahead click on download and then install it and it's really that simple i'm pretty sure md has an equivalent app just go ahead and google it or alternatively you can just google the driver it's pretty simple another thing i like to do is go into the windows settings and go under update and security then where it says updates i like to go ahead and update my os or operating system as these updates right here you'll see if you check for updates if there's a new one i think i'm all up to date but when they do push out an update it's mainly to make the operating system better in terms of performance and stability which can in turn potentially reduce any in-game stutters fps drops or crashes so myself i always like to keep my operating system up to date also i mainly just update the major updates these optional updates right here i never really bother with and finally another thing i like to do to prevent any sort of micro stutters is use a malware or antivirus scanner it can be anyone online just get a free one i like to just run scans and make sure there's no sort of malware viruses or anything lurking that's sort of taking all the resources from my pc and making the rest of my pc slower you can go ahead and just do a quick scan and um, it shouldn't take too long at all and if anything does flag up you want to make sure that it's quarantined and removed from your system if you don't scan you'll basically never know so it's a really good idea to do a scan like every now and then and that right there has been a few different methods on how you can fix any fps stutters that you may be having in fortnite if a video did help out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the video and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton and be sure to check out the best nvidia settings as well as the best window settings on screen right now.